a winner Facebook. Despite all the attention on Snap this month, Facebook is excelling across several dimensions. The tech giant leads competitors in revenue growth with a 50% increase in Q4 2016, twice Amazon's growth rate. The law of big numbers don't seem to apply to Facebook. Despite the recent controversy regarding Facebook's reported metrics, advertisers are still throwing money at the platform. According to L2 Research, Facebook registered the greatest year-on-year -year growth in ad spend among peer platforms. And further cementing its hold on the ecosystem, Facebook dominates the mobile app business. A winner, burrito lovers. Chipotle has cut wait times for digital orders by 50%. Thousands of customers place digital orders before the restaurant opens and then pick them up in a separate line, eliminating bottlenecks at the cash register. Unlike Starbucks, whose popular mobile ordering system has proven problematic in store, overwhelming baristas and frustrating customers. Starbucks has invested heavily in mobile, which accounts for 27% of transactions. Last month, the chain launched voice ordering in its mobile app and Amazon Alexa. But what they're missing out that Chipotle gets? Pork, the other white meat. I love Chipotle. If I go on a first date, I take her to Chipotle. When I stop liking her, I just continue to take her to Chipotle and she breaks up with me. I don't care about the health scare. You could, you could produce a Zika bowl and the big dog is eating more and more of that stuff. He loves you. A loser again, Snapchat. We've referenced a number of times that Instagram has borrowed features from Snapchat. This time, Facebook's offspring WhatsApp has taken a lesson from the Snap playbook with the launch of its new status feature. Users can share disappearing photos, GIFs, or videos and add their own emojis and captions. Sound familiar? Let's be honest, the ecosystem would benefit from a third player. I have a bad feeling about this. We believe Snap could be the spark that torches the market. A winner, drone manufacturers, as every company is getting into the game. Verizon bought a drone startup just last week. UPS is testing trucks with drone launching pads, although they botched one demo. And 7-Eleven beat Google and Amazon to the punch with their first drone delivery. By the way, when I go into a 7-Eleven, it's me screaming to the world, I am so fucking hungover, I've become a moron with respect to food and nutrition decisions. In July, 77 customers in Reno, Nevada received their orders via drone. The initial delivery included a chicken sandwich, donuts, coffee, candy, and Slurpees. Bitch. We'll see you next week.